Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In the previous video tutorial, we have created a JSON to render that as a list in this tab. Okay, so let once revise in the controller we have JSON result which is returning JSON on this URL and we will use Ajax solution for that in the menu uh, let's first of all create a table which will give us the facility to render the table from Ajax it is very easy uh, but well, we don't need to do a lot of work we just need to create a simple table which will give us uh, a way to insert data through Ajax let's come in the tab 2 okay so this is the tab 2 this is the ID add the class as call we want to give it 12 columns now here we will place a table a simple table in that table let's add class as table then table border and table oops not here here table hover <coughs> okay uh, after this uh, let's create a table heading th in that heading we will add a row <coughs> In that row add table data okay so here is the ID and the location and we can also add a third as action okay uh, right after this we will add T body in this T body we will <coughs> left it empty and what we will do let's see here hmm. it is rendering and we can view the table which we have generated up to that uh, let's create a JavaScript which will help us to render the data so let's use here that JavaScript <coughs> I will say document dot ready when document get ready a function <coughs> is performed in which what happened the Ajax call started now Ajax in that call we have the URL okay first we need to define URL which will be the default controller like this default then uh, menu list JSON okay uh, declare the type you can make it post or get whatever you want I will make it get in the start so that I can directly access that too okay and you can also uh, use the content type data type etc uh, I will not use that I will say on success a function is created where result will be appear and now let's do console.log and here 
is now. Results. Okay, it's done. Uh, once what we will do, we will check the JSON. And see what is the output we are getting <coughs> so that it will be easy to understand how to render the data so we have location only not the ID so <coughs> we can only render the location uh, now what we will do uh, in the JSON uh, here is the result coming I will say get a variable render data is equal to empty then use each loop to render the data on result comma function will get started having ID and value in this each loop what happened render data plus is equal a row is created okay uh, it will be in single quote tr okay comma now this line will append that row with table data plus the value dot location let's see location have capital L plus this table data is closed and in the bottom we will close the row we have only inserted the one column let's replicate to insert three columns okay right after this what we will do we will add data let's give it the id to this i am giving the body a class which is the body now render by class i will say dot the body dot HTML by render data now it will render the data in that let's refresh it and now what happened when I will click on list menu location it will show me a table uh, it is a table but it is not rendering the data uh, click F12 and see what's happened in the console so there is no error happen uh, let's use console dot log here pass the result as parameter now refresh that okay uh, I think one thing happened wrong uh, we need to give the whole URL yes uh, this reference is not defined let's see where it is not defined yes 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 okay uh, we need to do two things the first two need replace the whole location and then we need to put this document script over here now refresh it once again 
and let's see what's happened oops we have a mistake over here we are using document ready but it is rendering in the bottom so what we need to do we need to replace the code from here to let's cut it and paste in layout head so it will work fine i hope so and now refresh once again and now it's successfully loaded and you can view that uh, we have now this kind of data is appearing these are the null values and we can easily delete that uh, from our store procedure like you can see these IDs have null values now uh, actually what's happening we are returning the data having only the location okay uh, like this you can see that uh, whenever I am rendering this it will return me this location and I need the ID also so what we need to do go to the controller and here in the model uh, in which we are loading the data let's see that what we are loading okay so this model is only loading this attribute okay only location loading uh, we can also go into the model and see wh what's add two fields more like uh, it's not allowed us pause it and after pausing that we can add id attribute as a variable and the links we can add id or int and links as int now we have three columns what we will do we will call the column zero right now we are calling column one okay let's load the data and column zero in ID okay object ID and make it as uh, not converting that okay uh, let's convert it into the int type even that uh, you can go for the two string if you will convert the model as string okay it will be fine now now uh, in the layout what you need to do you need to call ID here and click on continue it will now render ID 2 in the front end like you can view that when I will refresh uh, <coughs> right now it's not rendering let's see it's render or not and now see uh, right now it's not rendering I don't know what's happened here is the value dot ID let's see the result in the console okay we have this array having this object object location only nothing else that only the location okay so model is not refreshed right now like let me add this and now fault controller the value is added in that okay uh, refresh once again this we don't have that okay uh, what you need to do right after this you need to clean and rebuild the project after that uh, when you will refresh you will get the result like this okay uh, now we can render that here also uh, I hope uh, it will work and you can see this uh, right now now you can add edit and delete here by attaching these IDs here how uh, simply go to the 
here and the third column is for the action and what you need to do you need to add the edit and delete part so I will say edit column delete and here uh, you need to add a link um, in both of this as a hover is equal copy it and paste it but uh, it will uh, when you will click on this it will create the redirection of the page and we need the ajax solution for that what we will do we will use ids for these two uh, let's say i will say i will add a span having value is equal something and here span will close and here uh, I will pass that values in the double quote I will apply a single quote plus plus and this value and same as the case will be applied as delete and now uh, let's give them a class I am giving this a class because we have multiple edit and delete and we want to work with them so edit uh, menu location list is the ID class here and here we will apply the class as delete menu location list okay and now let's refresh this and click here and we are done with this now what happened in the next video tutorial <coughs> I will add click listener for edit and delete and when we will click on them we can easily edit and delete this now we have Ajax solution which will render data faster than the conventional website I hope this video tutorial is informative uh, if you have any kind of question regarding this you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the engineering projects youtube channel take care bye bye